I am inside Scratch and I have a new project loaded up. Um, it already has a sprite created that does what you're trying to do in this project. So I'm going to show you as a demonstration what that does. So when we run this program, um, the letter version of the sprite shows. And then I have two options to, to alternate what it looks like. I can click on it and it will show me an alternative sprite picture with um, a corresponding thing that starts with that letter. Plus you notice it's saying B is for butterfly, something about the letter is for whatever. So I can click on it or I can hit that key on the keyboard and it triggers the same action. After two seconds, it reverts back to its original state. Um, so let's see how you make this. So let's make a sprite. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, this B was hand drawn, but I'm gonna go ahead and choose one of their preset letters. I'm gonna go and get the letter C. And now my sprite has been selected here. I can look and see it's in the corner here. Um, I'm going to go mess with its costumes first. So here's my regular letter C. I can use that as is. I can paint on it. I can change some colors. Whatever. If you don't like that, you can go and find a different one or you can draw your own from scratch. Um, but I want to upload an alternative costume that I saved off the internet. So I'm going to go and upload a costume. And all the costume is is a picture. So I got a nice little cat here. Um, it's quite large, so I'm going to come down to size here and scale it. Let's try 50%. That's still a little bit big, maybe 40. And that seems like it's probably a good size. Um, so you can mess with that till it looks how you want. Um, here I'm going to change its name um, so I remember what that is instead of some weird name I got off the internet. And so once I have these two costumes ready, I can go and mess with my code. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to find the events that are going to trigger these. So I'm going to, first of all, I need a, a green flag click to set it up in the first place. I'm going to have a key press and I'm going to have a when the sprite is clicked um, option. And then I got to go and find the stuff that talks about costumes. So that's under, let's see, where is it? It's not sound. I think it's here. Here we go. Switch costume to. So it's under looks. So I'm going to need one of those here, one of them here, one of them here. And these guys, when they switch back, um, it's actually, I'm going to need, I'm going to need a second one. So I'm going to just grab these loose for a second. I'm not ready for them yet, but I'll change them in a second. Um, so the first one, it's going to change it to block C when it starts. That's going to show me the letter C. That's good. When it's clicked, I want it to show me the alternate costume, which is the kitty. Also, when the C key, so let me go find the C key is pressed, I want to change it to the kitty. Okay. And then I want it to say those words. So I'm going to go and find that. Let's see. Where is that? Say the words. Sound. Nope. Where are you? I think you're up here. Say for two seconds. There we go. So I'm going to put one of these on here. Oops, I'm going to put that underneath. Oh, yeah, bugger. Come on. There we go. And I'm going to say C is for cat. And I'm going to copy that block because I want the same thing over here. I want to say C is for cat. And then I'm going to switch the costume back to block C. All right, let's try that and see if it works. Green flag, there's my letter C. Push it. Change to kitty. C is for cat. Cool. Push the letter C on the keyboard. C is for cat. Okay, awesome. So I've got some user interactions integrated with costume changes to make a little tiny alphabet switchy game. Um, and you're going to write the rest of it.